1985 zombie film and is the final chapter in George Romero's original Dead trilogy. Commence the debate on whether or not we should include Romero's later zombie films. The film stars Lori Cadrill, Terry Alexander, Jorbuth Conroy, Joe Pilato, Anthony Dilio, Richard Liberty, Greg Nicotero, Tazo, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name, and Howard Sherman. This time we're getting the hell out of Pennsylvania and spending the apocalypse in the warm floor of the sun. They check out Sarasota for survivors, but wind up only finding the locals. We are really running that local joke into the ground this month. No, they didn't fly to Colorado. It's actually an underground storage facility, lab, military stronghold, and zombie cattle pen. They check into the Rev Roof Inn and have a tender Ike Sorry Baby moment. Stay up. While they were gone, the commanding officer died and Rhodes has assumed military control of the operation. He is a sweet and tender man. Steele, shoot that woman. Bang! You're dead! <laughs> Everyone is sitting in this hole waiting around for Dr. Logan to come up with a cause or a cure for zombieism and save civilization. But the military members of the compound are getting anxious. There's a nice Dremel lab for you. They have a productive meeting and Logan reveals his plan to make zombies behave. It still has motor function. Probably still has powers of deliberation. It can be domesticated, Sarah, don't you see? It can be conditioned to behave. Sarah has another fight with her gentleman lover and runs into whatever the hell this mess is. And she's saved by the drunken Irish stereotype. They go to the world's last inhabited trailer park where John preaches about storage lockers. We meet Bub, a zombie that Logan has been making progress with and learned that he has vague memories of human life, such as phones... Razors, guns, and murder. It's Sarah that looks beyond what everyone else considers as parlor tricks. It didn't make me want to be its friend. It's amazing. It's not what this one does, but what he doesn't do. What do you mean? He doesn't get excited. He doesn't get agitated when Logan walks in the room. He doesn't see Logan as... Lunch. Even though Rhodes is skeptical, they do go herding for more specimens to continue Logan's work. I don't believe these conditions are OSHA certified. Time to set the day since last accident sign back to zero. Sarah's up to her arms with saving Miguel and stuff. They go to the lab to get him pain meds and discover that not only Logan has lost his shit. There, I put it away. I put it away, mother. I put it away. He has been feeding Bub leftover parts from dead soldiers as a reward for good behavior. It's one thing for Sarah to find out that Logan has been feeding Bub parts of soldiers. But when Rhodes finds out, well... <laughs> Rhodes has had it and wants John to fly him out and negotiates by killing the useless scientist and shoving Sarah and Irish stereotype into the zombie pen. They start beating John because an injured or unconscious pilot is best, but they are overpowered with John stealing Rhodes' six shooters and running into the caves to make the save. Miguel decides to go get some sun and open up the compound to the lunch crowd that begins to pour in. <laughs> Rhodes 
Rhodes cares for his men. This one loses his head over the situation. Over here they're serving finger foods, and we also get the obligatory suicide. <laughs> Bub discovers that Logan is dead and starts packing heat, roaming the halls in search of Rhodes. He shoots Rhodes, who doesn't win the pinto behind door number one. <laughs> Bub walks away because he's given up asshole for zombie Lent. And we close with our heroes on the beach, where they'll live happily ever after, I guess. Night of the Living Dead was a 60s film. Dawn of the Dead was a 70s film. And Day of the Dead is marinated in the 1980s. Looked upon as the weakest entry in the Romero Dead trilogy, it's really gotten a bolster in public opinion during the last 10 to 15 years. It's another great Romero zombie film that really stands head and shoulders over its many, many imitators by basically saying that at this point, the zombies have more humanity than what's left of the living. Ironically, Return of the Living Dead was also released in 1985 and is one of the better homages slash parodies of Romero zombie movies. We'll get to that one later, but otherwise, check this one out. You will not be disappointed. Well, if we stay down here long enough, I'll have to lay off the fucking booze still, because there won't fucking be any of it fucking left. <laughs>